Hello my marvellous sausages, here we are for another Legend Lost Sector and this week is the Concealed Void and it's here in the Asterian Abyss on Europa and it's a pretty good one to do. It's not very long, it's reasonably easy and uh, well we'll have a little look and see exactly how I've got my Guardian set up to kick their backside but first of all let's have a little look at it. So we've got Barrier Champions, Overload Champions, there's a Solar Burn and there's Solar and Void Shields and there's also Arachno as well, which isn't a spider that shouts negative things, but it's actually the uh, gits, the fallen gits can drop mines, the vandals, so you've got to watch out for that. They're the slowy downy mines, which are very annoying. Now, looking at my loadout here, I'm going for a solar build, and I'm going for grenades as well, which can dish out loads of dirt. So with that in mind, I'm using my Starfire Protocol uh, Exotic. Now, the reason why I'm using this is that fusion grenades have an extra charge, and empowered weapon kills increase the reach charge rate of your grenade so you can be doing this really quickly so with that in mind let me have a look at the uh, subclass I've got here for you so I've gone for my well of radiance because that empowers your weapons as well uh, and then I've gone for an empowering rift so whenever I slap one of them down any weapon I damage I do will charge the grenades I've also gone for the incinerator snap and of course the fusion grenades there as well aspect wise I've gone for touch of flame not touch of cloth and heat rises and for my fragments I've got ember of blizzard Stirring, Ember of Singeing, Ember of Ashes, and Ember of Searing as well. All basically leading into Scorching targets and getting Ability Energy fast from those Scorched targets as well. And Ignitions uh, will grant Grenade Energy, so all those are very nice indeed. Now then, let's go and have a little look through the mods I've got on here. So I'm generating Solar Wells, uh, so with that in mind I've got Bountiful Wells on, so I get two wells instead of one. I've gone for my uh, Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder, and I've gone for Scout and Sniper Rifle Targeting, because I'm using a Scout. Out, and I've got resilience mod on there. All of my mods are mainly resilience mods to build up to the 101 there, so I get 40% damage reduction. Now, on my arms, I've gone for I've gone for an uh, anti-barrier scout rifle because I'm running my tiers of contrition for the barry servitors out there. There's the anti-barry servitors. Uh, I've gone for bolstering detonation, and I've also gone for my elemental ordnance because that's how I'm going to be getting my elemental wells. Uh, for my starfire protocol, I've basically gone for protection there with thermoshock plating twice, and again, well of life to add to the duration for the healing. And then for my boots I've gone for Seeking Wells to hoover up all those elemental wells. I've gone for Scout Rifle Holster, Invigoration and there's a re Resilience mod. And finally for my bond I've gone for uh, Explosive Well Maker because you know rapid explosions will create even more elemental wells. Bomber for my Grenade Energy Cooldown and of course the Resilience mod there as well. I'm using my Lure Monarch Bow. Now this is how I'm going to be dealing with the Overload Champions because it's got intrinsic overload as of this season and it's fantastic for the void shields as well and then I've also gone for an ascendancy rocket launcher which is solar so you know you can take down the solar shields and administer kick-ins because there's quite a lot of distance killing in this particular lost sector I really enjoy these Europa lost sectors they're fantastic right first off we have an overload champion who's gonna be lurking around the corner there so let's just take out the dregs here once you take these guys out then he'll make himself known usually as we jump down there he is look sticking his head out so we'll just stun him with my Lure Monarch and then we're going to use double grenades to kill him off that's him done with excellent right let's go in killing these uh, shanky wanky woos <laughs> yeah goodbye shanker yes vandals over there they're the ones you can see them just dropping the uh like dropping the mines there they're very irritating they are but don't worry too much about them then we've got a giant shanker here so we'll snap him out of existence give him a bit of le monarch as well to be thinking about goodbye there he goes splendid stuff right so let's jump around here avoiding those really irritating mines that slow you down and then we're going to be going into the next chamber. This is quite a jumpy one, really, I suppose, but it's not too bad. We've got a Barry Servitor in here, and we do have a few dregs and shanks and all the general, you know, the general louts that we get. So what I'm going to do is start taking out the little guys first of all, particularly that Vandal, because he can be incredibly annoying. Nice to see the Lumonarch there doing a bit of tick damage. The moment you angle them into your view, look, they all get out of the way. It's very irritating, yes. Get rid of them. Gotta be quick on the draw. Quick they are. That should kill him. Kill them. Excellent. Let them sod off over there. Right. What we're going to do next is hit him with the older... Ah, that's the worst thing about that. See, and I hate that. It drives me around the bend. So I'm just going to get in here and we're going to have one of those on him there. Lovely stuff. Then he's going to pop his shield, no doubt. 
Oh, there we are. He's just died. Splendido and excellent. Must have been the Scorch that got him. Right, let's uh, finish off the dregs that we've got down here. One over here. Shank's in the distance. Goodbye, Shank. Ah, oh, Lots of little sticky outfits that are very annoying. Is that you shooting me, you turds? Another dreg there and another one in the corner. And we've usually got a couple left shooting us from over the side here. Ooh, let's see if you'll... There we go, excellent. There's usually a mine being dropped here by that vandal I killed, but it seems to have been set off. That's good. Okay, let's take these turnips out and take out uh, this fellow over here as well. Let's get them with the fusion. Ooh, it's not going to work. Never mind. Let's get in closer and do the old clicky thing. Get rid of those shields there, which is lovely. Let's stick our empowering rift down so I can get some damage on this dit. And I'll get my grenade energy back there. Nice and lovely. Get rid of that bloody vandal. I'm going to wait until I stun him again, because I don't want him shooting me. There we go, because that's the tick damage from the Lumon Arc, and I think that's probably enough for him, really. There we are. Excellent. That's that fellow down. Dropped a couple of uh, elemental wells there, which is very nice indeed. Thanks very much for the healing. Now, we do have one mine left over there. I don't know if it's worth... Can I reach it? No. Ah, there we are. Excellent. The reason being I like to shoot that is because every time I jump out here, you've got these wretches who all run in at you. Like this, look. And they can just bloody... <laughs> they can skewer you so fast. And it's surprising how many times I've died there from those idiots. So you want to be careful of that. And the, uh, the mine that drops there will just slow them down. Right. That's that section done. Onwards and upwards. Shed loads of exploder shanks here first. So let's kill them off. They will all just come across in one big row. But, you know, we can kill them along there. And then we've got an overload champion who will turn up here somewhere. Where has he gone? He's probably... Oh, yeah, he's hiding. Look, he's not coming out. Let's kill that vandal there. Uh, and then the trouble is we jump across here. And then we're going to get the other shanks coming out again like that. Which can be very irritating. Like that! Jump back across! Oh, shiver me timbers! Hey, that's bad news! Oh! That was a swine, wasn't it? That's why you've got to watch out for those turds. Right, okay, let's get back round here and sort them out. Where are you going? Hell, that's where you're going. Right, let's go and sort out this uh, overload champion who's lurking around at the back there. There we go. One, two, two of those. He's gone. Excellent. Lovely stuff. Woohoo! Beautiful. Right, so then, final room. We've got a boss down here. We've got... Um, I don't think we do have any other champions, but we do have void shielded servitors who can be a tad annoying. So if you haven't got grenade energy like I've got, pop down uh, an empowering well and then start dishing out damage and you'll start getting grenade energy back, which is lovely. Once you kill these few guys here, then that will uh, get the chap to appear. There we go. There he is. Has he appeared in the middle there? Hello, sir. There we are. So all we want to do now is administer kick-ins with him. Be careful of the servitors in here because you can shield loads of people which can be very very annoying so it's quite good to try and get him out of the equation if you can because he can shield the boss you see which can be very irritating but if you're using Lumon Arc, he's a void shielded thing it's not going to take too long to take him out like that okay next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop down this and then we're gonna start dishing out kick-ins to bernard bum pipe here yes there we go have some more of that Another one of those. Yes, that's lovely. Get in the older uh, well there. Stop him. Ooh, he's jumping around like no one's business, which is excellent. Kill some shanks. Here we are. We get some more damage on him. Ooh! <laughs> Two wretches got that by mistake, didn't they? Yes, excellent. You can see how quick the energy goes up for the grenades. It's excellent when you're in your rift. It's truly very fast indeed. Got to be careful, though, because there our rift is gone, so let's just jump out of the way. And we do have another servitor turn up then, who can do more shielding, of course. This is where you can get into a really bad cadence here. Thank you very much for sucking up those wells. And that means now I've got healing. That is a very underused uh, mod in my game, because I should use it a lot more often. The Seeking Wells. It's an arc mod. It's excellent. I recommend you use it, because it brings them all to you. Yes. Because we get some uh, grenade kills here, and some more there. There we go. Ooh, go away, you. I said, go away. Oh, no, shivery timbers. What am I doing? That's better. The worst thing sometimes is you think you've killed them, but you haven't. That's been many a death reason for me these days. They are sawed off and you as well. And that should be you done. Excellent stuff. 
And I think we've cleared the lot out that time. Excellent. There we go. So what's that? Six minutes. Uh, to be honest with you, I've done it in about 5, 5.20 as well. Uh, so that's not too bad. Let's pop the chest and see what we've got. An encrypted engram. But here's a hint for you. If you've got a full suite of engrams in here, if you do get the exotic engram to drop, it'll go straight to the post office. Leave it in the post office until the legend lost sector comes around for the type of exotic that you're after. So, for example, I'm after these uh, new warlock helmet doodars here. What are they called? Let's quick, quickly pop over to them. There we go, the Fallen Sunstar. Now, it's going to be heads on Saturday. So, I'm keeping that exotic engram and I'm going to open it after reset on Saturday today and then I'll have a chance at that helmet. Nice useful little tip for you there. So there we go. A nice easy lost sector to do that one and not too long. Let me know in the comments what loaders you've been using and how fast it's taken you to do it as well because I also find that incredibly interesting. And if you did enjoy the vid, a like really helps the channel out. That would be utterly fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage out. <laughs> I banged my knee then, it really hurt.